No need to worry. It's just... Oh. Thought you were someone else. The show's almost over. I'm sure there are girls inside who'd be happy to oblige. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back on my gaming channel. It's time for the new video from Gothwick. This time, new Westeros Pass. Let's have a look what they prepared for us this time. I know the intro for this video is maybe something what you didn't expect it. It's something a little bit more shocking, but the same was this design uh, of that castle skin for me. I think I think it's a little bit funny. I didn't expect that the castle for attacking for the war mainly is going to have this kind of design. Uh, anyway, this is good looking castle. It's just, uh, you know, when I'm watching Game of Thrones and then I play the game or something, it's just remind me very funny moments. And I think the maybe devs also, when they've been watching the TV serial, they was looking at that guy and then they figured out they're gonna do this. I'm not sure if I actually managed to get to, to the point. I don't know if you agree with me or not. This is the fighting castle, uh, which quite nice bonuses for us. I think definitely we're going to appreciate the shelter capacity because 100,000 troops to put it in there is a very big change. Also, the building speed, I wouldn't appreciate it that much. But since we get the glory level, there is also some kind of advantage. Guys, remember, if you're not experienced in this game yet, if you got those own bonuses, you don't have to switch the castle. So that shelter capacity and a building speed is always there as long as you own the castle. And this is absolutely different about the active bonuses because for this one, you have to switch the castles. And here we got for cavalry. So if someone really fancy that kind of troops to, to use it in the game, is definitely something uh, which you can check it out of course it all depends if you don't have anything better also is that a percentage for the attack uh, which is kind of important if you don't have a shadow of valyria then this is going to be definitely something which you can you know look after the plus of this castle is that you already have 10 percent for the uh, cavalry attack and health without you know activating your favor you know is any, anything like that you don't have to scout other castle uh, just to just to have those two so as long as you're already in the fight and then you're doing your stuff with scouting with activation of all that kind of bonuses uh, then is another advantage for you so i think it's definitely worth worth to have a look especially if you guys still collecting uh, medals for the commanders and troop appearances I think the excitement is not so high anymore because we already know those two. Uh, so we're just waiting. I think the next exciting level is going to be when we're going to reach the golden quality. Where the troops going to take uh, also quite a little bit long because uh, troops got few levels of the golden quality. Okay, but they are still good, uh, definitely for defense. And I know that most of the players appreciate that commander uh, because as I predict from the day one where they show up, I said it then in the training ground and, and uh, actually uh, turns out in, in the Hector event the, um, that was the Weirwood memories that was also very good to use. So you can only imagine what he's going to do when he's going to be a fully upgraded on gold. Very nice. Let's have a look on the rest of the stuff. And so first what we're going to see is that um, that's something for the dragon, dragon head, right? Whatever they're writing down there, it doesn't matter for me. But the foil cakes, the thing is, this is the dragon war paint. So this is exactly an additional bonuses for our dragons. A dragon, one dragon, the new one, the small one. <laughs> At least in my case. Uh, so this is the thing what we can use uh, to get extra little bit of power. Uh, I'm going to show you right away where you can find it. When you have your dragon stuff, you just go and go for the customization and then exterior. This is where you have your war paints uh, stuff here. And then enemy army defense reduction 5%. This is only for seven days, but still is better than nothing. 
Uh, so definitely want to, you know, keep this close to you as soon as you're going to have a trouble, some kind of war going on or KVK, of course, uh, then this is something which you might look after and don't forget to use this. Remember that this is seven times limited, then uh, try to activate this in a correct moment. Going back to the normal rewards is just, uh, you know, basic, which I don't like because every, every single thing in this game can have a good size and bad size. The bad ones is those colors, which I call in this dragon makeup. I absolutely don't need that kind of stuff in the game. I'm far more interesting with the, you know, presets like for the war with even small bonuses can be for gathering, can be for attacking, defending, anything like that. Is absolutely better than the makeup itself so I very much appreciate that the dragon head or paint and I do I do not appreciate any kind of colors makeups and those angry faces those emoji cards this stuff is completely waste for me but I really don't know it depends who playing this game maybe in Asia this kind of stuff are more appreciated uh, for me I'm from Europe, I don't like this kind of stuff in the game, especially when this kind of game is more for adults. Uh, troop appearances, of course, we'd like it, we already know. Speed ups, doesn't matter how much, just give us all. Uh, the same with the blue diamonds, some chests are very nice. Again, the medals for the commander. Um, additional shields, VIP points, so all that kind of stuff is very nice. Again, as always, I have to remind for those who didn't play this game before and you just started it may be your first time on with all this so when you're gonna reach level 60 this is not the end you're clicking forward and you keep doing additional tasks guys try to save them don't spend on the ridiculous things like uh, we would three hard speed ups for your troops or just normal speed ups or even friendship chest those stuff you leave behind because maybe it's gonna be a moment when you don't want to purchase another Westeros Pass. You're just gonna keep those coins. You, the uh, commander gonna appear here. So if you got any any medals missing, you that's when you use your pass coins for it. The banners is something far more better to to purchase it here, or even the other troop appearances. Although it's very expensive, all depends on the amount what you need. But if you need only few of them, then this is, this shop is absolutely big advantage of Westeros passes right now. And so I'm, you know, all those, those tasks are very easy. And one more time, reminder, guys, I already purchased this one because I did have a blue diamond, black diamond, sorry, on my uh, account. So I go with it straight away. I didn't have to wait. But as always, I remind you guys, don't rush with this. You can wait until at least a uh, week, uh, end of the third week or beginning of the fourth week, there's going to be additional extra events in the game, which you will have to top up your black diamonds. And in that case, you're going to be able to do both. Uh, extra rewards is going to be very good for you and it's going to be very easy to, um, you know, make this right. This is absolutely, uh, shouldn't be any problems with you, to be honest, guys, just take one day to accomplish this or maybe max, max two. It all depends, of course, if you have enough speed ups for your troops or something. But even if you just play without even looking at this, most of the stuff you're going to do anyway. So you just play your game. You don't have to rush with anything. That's it for this one. Uh, you're going to see me in my next video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. If you have any questions about this game or any other on my channel, uh, then, then let me know in the comments below. See you next time. For those who survive until the end of this video, I just want to say thank you. I very much appreciate all your support, your comments, watching my videos. I, I hope that my, some of my videos are going to help you out, uh, making the games easier or just uh, for the entertainment. Just, you know, if you have nothing else to do and you like to watch in gameplays, then I'm very glad that you choose my channel for it and I want to let you know guys then as soon as my channel is going to get 1000 subscribers uh, then I'm preparing some small gifts uh, to as a thank you okay so I'm going to choose random from the uh, from, from all the <laughs> from all the viewers who uh, comment on the proper videos and stuff 
this course is not going to be only from game of thrones but mainly so don't forget to check out uh the playlists uh, descriptions and stuff but this is going to be one of the one of the uh, those giveaways it's going to be a poster um a very nice quality poster uh, so it's going to be something for the for the desk for the drinks it's also you know it's mainly for game of thrones that's why i'm showing here it's going to be a few other stuff i just have to figure out about the postage and a few other things around here because it's it's not that easy as i thought okay so one more time thank you very much for watching don't forget to comment subscribe like if you want if you if you enjoy the video and i will see you next time